aiding and abetting the murder of George Floyd. Um, Ashley Banfield spoke with him earlier today, and, and we put up on, uh, up on Facebook today the, the question about how our system should deal with Thomas Lane versus Derek Chauvin. Derek, of course, the one with his knee on George's neck uh, versus Thomas Lane, who, um, according to his lawyer, did some things and said some things during the course of everything. But ultimately, obviously, we know how it all turned out, and we've seen the videos. So we begin with our comment of the day, first ever here on uh, Court TV. A back-to-back -back winner, Lisa, two nights in a row. Can you believe it? Lisa writing tonight, Lane should be treated differently, but not excused. The officer with his knee in George's uh, neck is responsible for his murder. He was the training officer, and the rookie was on his watch. His body cam should show all the proof of who's really at fault, and he's all the way at his feet. If anything, the police department should be more liable than the rookie. After all, they put Derek Chauvin as his training supervisor, and they knew all about Chauvin's work ethics. Why put a bad cop in authority position when the new guys are just coming up? DeWitt Lacey, let me ask you. Uh, do you think that this rookie should be facing a different punishment uh, than Derek Chauvin? Because right now they're facing the same punishment uh, because he's being charged with aiding and abetting the murder. Um, I, I think there's going to be some mitigating factors here. Uh, now, that's not to say he should be excluded from liability uh, at all. And, and yes, he was the first officer on the scene. He is the guy who initiated pulling uh, Mr. Floyd out of the car. Uh, and he was participating in holding uh, Mr. Floyd down on the ground. And albeit he did not have his knee on the neck, uh, part of uh, positional and or restraint asphyxia uh, derives from the body itself being forced down uh, in such a manner that the diaphragm can't properly expand. Now, the argument for the defense will be, well, you know, he was holding the legs and so that couldn't have put much pressure on um, uh, Mr. Floyd and he also uh, argue to uh, Officer Chauvin that uh, they should turn him over to his side. And those may be mitigating uh, instances, but uh, even still, he was there and participated in the very cold murder of uh, uh, George Floyd. And he's, I, although he's a rookie, okay, he goes through uh, uh, police training just like everybody else. And all of them had the same training as it relates to positional asphyxia. It's not that he didn't know the dangers were there. In fact, that's probably why he asked Chauvin if she should, she should roll him over. Uh, and it's hard to say that a jury is going to find uh, uh, some, uh, some liability against him when he's trying, at least attempting, uh, to do the right thing, but is overwritten by his superior officer. Paul Letta writing tonight, in my opinion, actions speak much louder than words. If he were that concerned, why didn't he push Chauvin off or demand he stop or any other action like getting those officers off his back? He did nothing. Makes no difference what he said. Thomas Lane is just 